What's up guys, it's Will here, back again, and I'm back from Orlando, and I'm here to record something very exciting, and that is news from In Our Collectibles, and it is at the Shanghai Wonder Festival 2023, because we got a bunch of new announcements recently, just before, I'm sorry my guys, my voice is still a little bit gone from Orlando, but we got a bunch of new announcements right before Shanghai Wonder Festival started, we got some things, some updates, we got uh, Daenerys Targaryen, the mother of dragons, essentially the breaker of change shown that she's going to be shown at this event, we had the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, very much teased, it is going to be a three-pack, we're going to talk about that, and of course we have a Clark Kent. Superman, a two-pack that we're going to show as well, Thorin from The Hobbit, some other cool stuff we want to talk about too, like Dumbledore, but let's get started, guys. Let's not waste any more time because Inarn has dropped some bangers, and of course, some ones, honestly, that aren't bangers, but we're going to get into that in a little bit more detail, but let's start with something pretty exciting here, and that is the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, and it is a three-pack. So what you can see here, this originally, John has said this all along from Queen Studios, whenever he's been on my show or any other show answering this question, Joaquin Phoenix Joker, Warner Bros. is very particular with the license. They're very specific about what they want. They want something high end they want something that's going to be a thousand dollars or more right so for in our standpoint they have to make something that's going to justify that one thousand dollars in one six scale this is going to be a limited edition piece it is going to be i think it's going to be numbered as far as i'm aware but i'm not sure it's going to be limited regardless right limited to a set number of pieces that said this is going to be a three pack considering it is going to be so pricey and if we're looking at the first offering here what you're seeing is the arthur fleck joker sort of the hospital scene where he drops the gun and he's dancing and he's entertaining children things along those lines so you can see that's going to be the one option here for the three pack you are going to have three different arthur fleck jokers that is a beast in its own in its own right for me it's just really tough because i really love arthur fleck as a character and i love the joker the film but in order to justify the the, the item being a thousand dollars they have to give you enough value to make you want to buy that but do i really need three jokers to display in my collection two heath ledger jokers is even pushing it for some people now you're talking about three arthur fleck jokers that are going to be that are going to need to be displayed i would assume most people are probably not going to have the means or the desire to display three arthur fleck jokers so probably what's going to happen is you're going to end up keeping one of these in the box or displaying it elsewhere and that is unfortunate because it does look like a really good piece I guess I'd rather have the piece made than not, but having three jokers like that, it's a lot. It's a lot. And you're gonna have to drop a pretty penny to get something you probably don't want just to get something you actually want, which is the Arthur Fleck Joker in the red suit. Let's take a look at the other photos. So this is very similar to the statue that they created. This is the one, the bathroom scene essentially where he's dancing in the bathroom. The hair and the likeness on this one is crazy. I think this looks really, really good. I think this one actually has a lot more potential. To me, this is a more iconic scene than him in the uh, in the children's hospital uh, losing the gun and dancing and you know doing clown stuff. But I would say this one because this one obviously leads much more towards what he's going to become as the Joker. This bathroom scene is pretty pivotal after he undergoes a bunch of trauma, particularly on a subway, and then he starts you know figuring out what's going on with the rest of his life and things like that. So yeah, there's a lot of really cool shit uh, going on with this one. The outfit is very similar again to uh, what what they did with the statue, and the statue yet has not gone up for pre order, but that was announced a while ago or at least showcased a while ago, teased a while ago. And this is pretty cool. The base, I honestly, I honestly like it. It's simple. It's a bathroom tile. That's all you need. It's very scene specific. There's a scene specific scene. And I think it's cool to give it something simple to not take up a lot of room. Again, you could probably display this one and the other one. And you have two jokers, just like the Heath Ledger two-pack joker. And then you're good. And it sucks the other one's probably, you know, I mean, you got to be a really big joker fan to display, to give up three spots in your collection for three Arthur Flex. So that's quite a bit. So that's quite a tall ask. So what I would say is this one's probably going to be the one that most people we're going to go for but it looks fantastic you can see the rooted hair here you can see the makeup the paint apps look really really good close eyes so uh it's still there's still a very strong likeness to joaquin phoenix but i think the tailoring looks really strong i think honestly the uh it's scene specific and the blood and the paint apps look good so i'm happy with this i'm glad that they're giving us this as one of the options this one i am a little more excited about now this one is the showstopper right this one is the one that everyone wants. When you're talking about a Joaquin Phoenix Joker, this would be the one that everyone wants to go after. This is the talk show scene, the most iconic scene in the film. This is the climax of the film. This is the uh, the epic conclusion of Arthur Fleck's original story in the first film and uh, showcasing his transformation into the Joker because of what he's undergone and his choices that he's made. So I think this looks really, really good. You can see the backdrop of the Murray Franklin talk show. You can see the chair. He's got uh, his finger pointed up in the air, pretty cool. This looks great. I I think this likeness looks great. They clearly have taken some uh, some some parts from the head sculpt from the statues that they made, sort of reworked it a bit, rooted the hair, made it a little bit different. Because the, the other one, the, the statue version have rooted hair. You could also get sculpted, things like that. So they've really just shrunken this down. It looks like maybe made a few tweaks here and there, but it looks really good. That sculpt was good. This sculpt is good. So overall, I think people should be happy with this one. I think this looks like the Arthur Fleck that you always wanted. It's unfortunate because for a lot of people, again, they were upset 
about the original Heath Ledger Joker being a two pack. And this one's going to be a three pack. So in order to get the one that you want, you're going to have to get the other two also. So that's really not necessarily in art's fault, though. It's just a matter of uh, Warner Bros licensing. They are particular and specific about what they want in regards to Arthur Fleck as a character and the merchandise surrounding the film. So yeah, I would say this looks great. I'm really excited for this. I am going to pick this up. This is going to be coming to my collection. I'm a little bit wary to see the price of it, but I am still excited nonetheless, just because the figure looks fantastic. I love the character. I think the film is fantastic and I really uh, connected with it. So yeah, that's Arthur Fleck. It's a three pack, a lot of accessories, big diorama. Let me show you guys uh, one more thing here because I think uh, Joao posted a video uh, that showcased like uh, sort of the diorama set pieces of it. And I think that's something that we should probably take a look at just to make sure that we're good. So you can see here, uh, there's a lot of accessories, very similar to the Prime one in terms of accessories. You can see that there is the Murray Franklin talk show base. Now this base is incredible. This base, uh, this diorama set piece, I think is going to be a real showstopper for your collection and something that really uh, captures the feel of the scene and the character. So there's the, uh, the hospital scene Joker. Again, this is probably the odd man out, the redheaded stepchild, if you will, because I think that that's gonna be the one that probably most people don't care about. And there's the bathroom scene Joker. You got the bag, uh, you got a bunch of different swap out hands, the everything must go sign that gets cracked that gets broken over him uh and some other stuff a mask gun so i don't know if that's medicine i'm not sure what that is exactly but uh it looks really really great so i'm excited for it guys let's take a look at our next big reveal here and that is the daenerys targaryen mother of dragons breaker of chains uh, so guys, look, I'm gonna be bluntly honest. This needs a lot of work. If we're looking at sort of what the source material looks like, shout out to Daniel who uh, posts a lot of good in art stuff uh, in the groups and in the chat and stuff like that. He had posted this on Facebook. I think that was him. So uh, just an update showing like kind of the outfit and the head sculpt and stuff like that. It's half sculpted, half rooted as of now. Very interesting choice. I mean, I, I don't think that's absolutely a deal breaker in its own right. However, I do think the likeness does need a lot of tweaking. I do see lifelike qualities in there, but if I'm talking about the likeness compared to Amelia Clark, I think it's certainly off. I think everyone would pretty much agree this is going to be one that's going to need some tweaking. And the outfit itself is also gonna need some tweaking because look at that, guys. Look at the differences. Uh, you know, look at rather the the sort of uh, lack of quality tailoring here in my eyes. That's the best way to describe it. I mean, this, this shoulder piece, I guess, just looks a little bit awkward. The chain doesn't quite look like it wraps as, as nicely as it should. And the head sculpt again is off. And I do think overall this one is, needs a little bit more time in the oven. Let's say that. I think this is going to be one that needs to be adjusted. And again, uh, thank you, Dana, for posting this side by side. But this you can see is the comparison of the actual in art figure versus what Daenerys looked like in the show. So yeah, it's an interesting choice that they decided to go with this uh, uh, outfit for the Daenerys figure. Uh, I'm hoping that you can maybe swap this with the season eight outfit and put the sort of Targaryen look on her because I think that would have been the more iconic look. Although season eight was highly disappointing and very uh, polarizing and controversial. But I would say that this outfit is pretty damn cool nonetheless. I just think it needs a little bit of updating because I think something is clearly wrong here. So. Uh, overall, Daenerys to me is a miss. I am excited to see where they're going to take it because, again, if you look at the original uh, in Art Aragorn, I thought the head sculpt was still pretty decent, but it wasn't anywhere close to what it was when they updated it. I think this will be updated. I think they this is still very much in the early stages. I think they will update this because uh, that is the in art track record thus far with what they've shown thus far. So in the small sample size that we have. So I will say that, you know, I think that I, my suspicion based on precedent would be that they are going to update this based on feedback and make this a banger. So that's that's what I'm thinking is probably going to happen. So for now, don't panic. Don't do anything yet, because I think that this Anar Daenerys will be updated, and I think we'll all be happy in the end, I hope. So we're looking at the Anarch Gandalf, uh, sorry, Gandalf Dumbledore. He has the same type of hair, so forgive me. It's also early. I, I flew a long time yesterday. Uh, so yeah, this is the Anarch Dumbledore, and I think this looks great. The tailoring on this looks great. The head sculpt looks great. So yeah, and I heard the actor actually passed away recently, so that is very unfortunate. And I'm not sure if this, um, this Dumbledore is the Dumbledore that is the one that passed away recently, because I know originally, well, yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, yeah, because the original Dumbledore was passed away, and then this actor took over. Yeah, so uh, yeah. So this Dumbledore looks fantastic. I think they did a really good job of capturing the likeness here. And of course, the outfit and the tailoring and the detail on the robe, that looks phenomenal. This is going to be a real presence commanding figure on your shelf. This is going to be one for Harry Potter fans that they're going to be really excited about. My suspicion, though, as always, is do Harry Potter collectors really love one six enough to go all in on a $500 figure like this? I guess only time will tell. And But I'm excited to see. For me, this Dumbledore is really, really dope. This may be the best one that they showed in terms of how uh, much quality it is. Uh, 
uh, with the head sculpt and the tailoring and stuff like that. The Arthur Fleck, yeah, Arthur Fleck's still really, really good. But to me, that three pack is like, it's good. It's going to dissuade some collectors from picking it up just because of the price. Not again, not in art's fault. And of course, the fact that you have to commit to displaying at least two, probably three Arthur Fleck Jokers, and that can be problematic. So yeah, I'm going to say overall that this is pretty cool. Uh, I love this Dumbledore. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you should be super psyched about this. This is pretty cool. You're never going to get one better than this anytime soon. So there's the Arthur Fleck stuff we talked about. That's more photos. There's Thorin. This is from The Hobbit. So for those who aren't uh, initiated with Lord of the Rings, uh, The Hobbit is a prequel series, essentially, with Bilbo, you know, where he goes and retrieves the ring and stuff like that. And the Hobbits are trying to regain their homeland. So pretty cool. Thorin's the leader of The Hobbits. This actually looks great. I think the tailoring looks great. The head sculpt looks really, really strong. The rooting of the hair looks fantastic. Thorin is a cool character. Uh, I don't think this is one that I would really feel like I need to add to my collection. I probably will pick it up for review just to share my thoughts with you guys on it because I do want to experience the unboxing and review and posing process for this guy but i don't think he's going to be one that long term he's going to stay so for me it's like uh, there must be a licensing or some sort of other practical issue because like if you're not going to do like why not legolas first or why not gimli or frodo or something uh, with your the original lord of the Rings series rather than the hobbit maybe the hobbit was cheaper maybe there's a licensing agreement where they have to get something from the hobbit out there to make sure everything's good so i don't know this is gonna be interesting there's another shot of the uh dumbledore which i think looks fantastic but again back to thorn i think the details look really really great this this one has clearly been cooked a little bit longer so i'm gonna say this one is a win for in art uh we got the, again, the Dumbledore, that looks great. There's the Arthur Fleck, another close-up shot of the bathroom scene. I actually think this one's really cool. I think this would be a really cool one to have in your display. So for me, uh, I think it's going to be great. I will say, though, you're pretty much limited to a very similar pose to this, right? Because the eyes are closed. You don't have, as far as I'm aware, a head sculpt for this one with the eyes open. So yeah, this is going to be one I think that you're just going to have to put in like pretty much this pose <laughs> or something very similar to this right because he's dancing he's dancing his guy's eyes closed that's him so okay so clark kent superman this is one we don't really have a ton of footage or photos of this yet i know we will because there will be more coverage to come but this superman does look like it needs some work as well i would say that overall the suit looks pretty solid and this is a slightly low res photo to this one but i would say that overall the superman head sculpt does it looks like it needs a little work from christopher reeve because i think this one it does the, you know does capture that likeness to a degree but i think that overall this is going to be one that i think collectors mostly are going to be not thrilled with i think they're going to be saying okay this is pretty good but i'd like to see this one cooked a little bit more in the oven and i think that's going to be one that that people this this is going to be one that collectors are really excited for this is a very iconic character and a very iconic performance for people. So to me, I think this is going to be uh, probably a slight miss for Inart until they provide some revisions and updates, which I think they will, again, based on precedent. So there's another shot of the Arthur Fleck uh, clown Joker. There's Arthur Fleck himself as the Joker. I think it's great. There's the uh, Clark Kent likeness. I think this one's much better, honestly. I think this one's much closer to Clark Kent. I think with the glasses on, it's a little bit easier to capture that likeness because it covers up some uh, any sort of small deficiencies here and there. So I would say overall, this looks really Really, really good. These are actually, don't get too excited. This is 12th scale. This is in art 12 scales. So they have announced that they are going into 12th scale and they're making this Dark Knight Batman. And I'm hoping that this uh, translates into 1 6 scale sometime soon, but we don't have any news on that yet. Hopefully that is uh, updating soon. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me. That's all the updates and news on NR for now. So let me know what you think about all this. I mean, it's crazy. There's a lot of good stuff being shown. I think some of it really seems like it was maybe rushed just a little bit just to get out there for the uh, for the con. So uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think Wonder Festival is a, it seems like a great event in Shanghai. I would love to go one day. And um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. There's a lot of cool stuff out there that's coming out, but it's a lot of heat, but also a lot of temptations. You got to be careful out there. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I got to go. Catch you out next one. Peace out. See you later. Bye. 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 How do I end this? Sorry, my voice is gone. Bye.